I want breakfast, but I have no idea what to have. Let me think. Well, you see, I want dinner, and I have no idea what to have. I've got it. Let's have breakfast and dinner. Let's have a breakfast burger. And guys, that's how the Bredin was born. You've got to try this, a breakfast burger. Okay, we're going to kick things off here by making our sauce. So I'm going to add about a quarter cup of mayo to a bowl. Followed by a good squirt of sriracha. I like saying that word, sriracha. And a dash of smoked paprika. Now I know I'm saying squirts and dashes, but you can just eyeball this. And that's going to give us a nice smoky effect. And we'll just stir this until everything is nicely combined. Okay guys, we'll just set this aside. Next up, let's make our patties. So what I've got here is a pound or half a kilo, 500 grams of lean ground beef. Now I use the lean, but you can use what you like. Half a teaspoon of minced garlic. A teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I just love the smell of this stuff. It smells so wholesome. Some salt. And last but not least, my favorite, some ground black pepper, and I'm going to add quite a bit. You can add extras to this, a bit of smoked paprika, whatever you like. Take my spoon and we're just going to mix this up. Now I'm going to grab up a good handful of the beef, maybe a little bit less, we don't want it too thick. And just kind of form it into a patty. It's funny, my patties have become simplified over the years. I used to use eggs and milk and breadcrumbs. You don't need that. Just the beef. Where's the beef? Something like this. And we're just going to set this aside on a plate. Alrighty then. Let's go ahead and slip the burgers in. I just love that sizzle. And we're going to fry these until they're cooked through. I'd say about four or five minutes. Okay guys, we're just going to go ahead and give these a flip. Mm. Yummy burgers. So we'll just go ahead and let these cook for another uh, two or three minutes on the other side. Then we'll put the cheese on. And one thing about burgers, I always find people want to press down all the time. Don't do that because you're extracting all those nice juices. Okay, cheese on. And I'm using the, uh, the actual real cheddar cheese, not the, the processed cheese, but you can use what you like. I've got trouble getting that one out. You can use what you like. <laughs> Now the cheese is nicely melted, which is a good indicator the uh, the burger's done. I'm just gonna grab this out and set it aside on a plate. Doesn't this look good? Next up, we're gonna do our eggs. I'm gonna add a bit of oil to the pan. Still a bit of grease in there from the, from the burgers. Nice flavor. And I've got three eggs here, and I'm just gonna beat these up. Okay, and now we're just gonna add the eggs to a pan. And this is over medium-low heat. And we're just gonna cook this until it begins to set. After it begins to set, I'm just gonna push this around and scramble it up until we have a soft scramble. You don't want a real hard, fluffy scramble, you just want a soft scramble. Now it's kind of half gooey here. We're just going to divide this into two because we're making two sandwiches. Oh, 
Okay, let's build our sandwich now. And we're gonna start with a nice good layer of that mayo sriracha. And I should say guys, the nice thing about these sandwiches is you can make them up the night before. And put some aluminum foil around them, slip them in the fridge, and have them the next morning. Just place our yummy burger on, followed by the egg. Doesn't this look good? Pop the top on, and we're good to go. And there you have it, guys, our breakfast burger, our wonderful Bredin. You're going to love this. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a taste test, my most favorite part. Okay guys, I'm not sure how to eat this, but I'm gonna give it a try. Great thing is you can slip it and make it up the night before, slip it in some foil and have it the next day. Let's try this. Mm. This is the best breakfast guys I've ever had. That sauce is incredible. That heat from the sriracha, the smoked paprika, the burger is so good. The eggs, mm, you gotta make this. Just, I just love it. I'm gonna get my coffee and have more. Mm. As always, for the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of great stuff over there. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you saw, hammer that sub button. And we'll see you next time, and stay safe, guys.